Bam. All right, guys. So, welcome to Absalon Station. This is the your central hub. This is where all trade and intergalactic politics happen. This is the prime bastion for the packed worlds. Everybody comes here. This is the place to be. Um, you know, you have the great government powerhouses in the eye, which is the big dome on top of the station, um, all the way down to the uh, spire that extends downward, and it's where a lot of the uh, criminal organizations and stuff like that um, hang out. Um, so a few things have, have happened uh, in the past few weeks, you know, valuable junk has been going missing, um, you know, scraps uh, are being stolen from people that work in the yards, um, you know, technological components, uh, even like robots have had their like arms and legs missing and they just wake up wondering what happened. Uh, you know, a lot of the residents that live down here are really worried because nobody seems to want to do anything. Um, the Primix, uh, Miss Mela Cruz, has, has reached out to you guys and is, is counting on you guys to hopefully stop whatever is going down in the spire. Um, she has offered you guys, however, a, a thousand credits. You guys can split it however you want. Uh, if you can put an end to, uh, you know, the crazy threat of this, this monster that, that might be roaming underneath. Um, it's, it's deep within the, uh, the spike. It's in an area known as the ghost levels. Uh, you know, not a lot of people visit this area. It's, it's kind of been abandoned and, you know, just overall, um, Best way to describe it is like an an abandoned time uh, at, at the station that uh, that used to be once uh, the industrial side of the station. <laughs> so uh, at, to start you guys off, you guys are are descending downward on this elevator, going uh, through the deep levels. Uh, you know, you notice that. Uh, the nice green and and you know beautiful buildings are starting to turn more industrial and just pipes being thrown everywhere. You know things are looking kind of grungy down here. Uh, you're you're moving on to like the red light district part of town. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so your elevator stops and uh, the doors hiss open and you are left in. The ghost levels. So wait, we get a thousand credits to split amongst us five, or we get a thousand credits apiece? Well, you could split them among, among all five of you, or you could decide mm -hmm. to take out certain people along the way. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Okay. Damn. Beauty Swooty coming for that booty. <laughs> you know, when you consider that I think the richest of you only has 83 credits, uh, a thousand credits sounds really good right now. This is why you guys are all banded together. I thought we all start with a thousand credits. Oh, you do, but your equipment... Uh has actually drained your money. So if you look at your character sheet, it will list I how much... paid for my equipment? Yeah. Oh my god. I couldn't just take a loan up? No. <laughs> <laughs> you start off with, if you look at your equipment tab, how much credits you have remaining from your starting 1,000. Uh, in your case, uh, Kevin, you're looking at... Tell you right now. Let's just say you're broke, son. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you have 32 credits. Wow. So you have enough to maybe get an Uber back to the uh, top <laughs> part of the spire. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. Um, I see it. Yeah. So, you know, your, your elevator has reached this point. Doors opened up. You guys come out. What do you guys want to do? Is it dark in here? I mean, you're, you're looking around. This is, you have your field of view. This is what you see. So it's bright. Bright as shit. It is an entry point. Yes, there's there's lights illuminating the entry point, but past that, there's you can't really tell uh, much of what's going on. Are those two doors on the north and east? Uh, give me perception. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't have my perception. Uh... You could uh, on the roll twenty app. There should be a. Um... A dice? Yeah. You can just pick one one dice 20. And then toss it. And it'll give the roll. Just add uh, for you. Your perception would be... My perception is one. Oh, you're, you're very perceptive. <laughs> so <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Wait, so I, ro I roll 1d20 plus one? Plus one. Yeah. I mean, hey, oof. <laughs> okay, so I can't see shit. so you you're at least you can tell that the north area and the east area uh, are are wrapped in sheets of of plastic, like torn up plastic. Uh, it it it's almost like uh, it, it resembles like a butcher's um, compartment. Plastic shield thing. Yes, like the those thick, heavy plastic yeah. drapes. Ah, okay. Um, you know, there's there's emergency lighting, um, that's flickering. And that's remember this area is abandoned. Nothing's really been, uh, through these halls. Um, you know, the illumination's kind of dim. You can Are make you? out certain details, um, but you can't really see past the plastic sheeting. Uh, it, just because there's a lot of dirt and grime in the way. So am I to assume that we can't walk over the middle, like, gear thingy? No, no, this this whole room, you can walk over everything except, obviously, the barrels and the rubble on the corner. You can pretty much walk through everything. Now, the It just items... looked like a giant hole in the floor, so I want to make sure. <laughs> no, no. The items that you see in the rooms... You can get next to them for cover. Uh, if, if combat happens at any point, just look for pieces of terrain that you can use for cover. Um, oh yeah, let's hide behind this exploding barrel and get shot and explode. Sounds great. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, it's, so... it's abandoned sham. Who knows if it really could explode or not. So is this like a turn-based thing where we go based off of an issue thing? Or how does, how does no, the no. order of... So for now, you guys are in, in the exploration mode. Uh, you guys could decide to do whatever you want. You can move as much as your character decides. Um, you could split up or you could go together. Um, it, it's really up to you the direction you guys want to go. So you guys have to pick with each other what, what direction. I mean, as of right now, you, you know that you are in a room and there's plastic sheeting. Okay, which way do we want to go? Um, Are we splitting up? I'd say not quite yet. I think let's uh, try to advance to like one of the the top one. See if like that's a door or something. Makes sense like, to me. Moderate that way, I guess. Hold on. I wanna... Do we have a number of times that we can move like per turn or something? Or no, until just... until combat starts, you can move. However, the only okay. thing I'm asking is like, don't drag your character outside of the confines of the room, mm -hmm. right? Um, okay. Because then I'll be losing my mind as to where you guys actually are. Um, okay, so you guys mm -hmm. are are going through the northern area. Yeah. Hmm? Uh... You guys go first, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. <laughs> wow. That's, that's... I like these tactics. <laughs> okay. Um, 
the plastic sheeting suddenly reveals uh, two small green creatures with melon-shaped heads uh, crammed inside bubble my helmets. Kid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're snarling. They have red eyes, uh, pointy ears. Uh, obviously, you guys know what these are. They're very common. They're space goblins. Space goblins. You know, they they're instantly reach out and and let me reveal this area for you guys. Yeah. So, space goblin, yeah, space goblin. Pretty glad you guys went first. So they they both come out to you guys, and uh, let me take this out. Go ahead and roll initiative, my boys. So you're going to roll. Uh... Oof. <laughs> oh my god. What's the initiative? It's yeah, just roll a D twenty. So Moon has a ten. I don't know why Moon's character is not showing up here. Yeah, I can't see him on the thing. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna have to do this by hand. Mine didn't do anything. How do you do it? Um, I do it with the dice on the on the left hand side, where the cursor selector is. There's a dice icon. Oh, well, yeah. Remember uh, to roll your bonuses. The advanced dice roller. Let's. Do which that. is the amount on the red bar, mm -hmm. for your. Um, technically, my initiative is four. Um, I have oh, what are we adding to initiative? It's the red bar underneath your character. Well, if you look at your character sheet, oh, wait, there's hold potential on. that it could be more. Is it under your skills? My dexterity gives me plus two. Right, that's your total. It's okay, so my initiative is seven, but I get plus four for... Uh, Just make sure you're looking at your total. Response. At your your total amount is what you need to be looking at. So if you look at your sheet, because um, it does get confusing, because some characters actually have the same. Okay, well, there's my new role. Uh, so if you look at your character sheet seven or uh, Kevin, you have the plus seven. That's your total, and the seven is derived from the miscellaneous four, and the three bonus from your dexterity. So the blue box is your actual total initiative. Um, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's the roll. Okay, so let me... So 13. Okay, so Moon got a 13. Kevin, how much did you get? Wait, wait hold on, I'm super confused. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm just going So I get... My red bar is 7. But I have rapid response, which adds four. Right. I already I already calculated all that for you guys. So your maximum initiative is the red bar. So you would just roll a d20 plus oh, whatever. Oh, d20 plus seven. Yeah, plus. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Got it. Yeah, because I knew this. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I was like, okay, let me let me go ahead and do this for them before anything. All right. I got uh, it. Okay. So. What do we have? Okay, so what did you end up getting? 23? Holy... I got 23. Jesus Christ. All right, Moon... Can you rip that bot bot? Moon got a 13. Aura got a what? 22. 22. Um, Andy, what did you get? 23. 23. 23. And Sham. 18? Okay. 18. All right, so let me roll. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Time to party wipe, ladies and gentlemen. Time to party wipe. Oh. 
Oof. Okay. Okay, uh, because of, of Kevin's base initiative being higher, he'll get to go first over Andy. Um, so it'll be Kevin, then Andy. Um, all right, what are you going to do, Mr. Mister Kevin, Mr. Obazaya? Okay, I'm going to move because I got a squishy in the back. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to... I'm going to move, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. Can I move here, I believe? Should be about 30. Yes. Yeah, you could move. Let me see, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, because you actually have, uh, I looked at your character sheet, you actually have 35 movement speed. Um, yeah. So you, you actually can move, I think, the farthest of the entire group. So, yes, you can you can move there. Um, yep, I'm going to move here. What's, what's your game plan? Uh... I think this is all I can do for now, right? Well, you have a movement, and then you have your attack. Oh, all right. Um, well, now that I'm in its face, uh, I'm going <laughs> to hit it in the head. <laughs> okay, so... With we're... my um, Doshko. So go ahead and... Um, let me go to objects and tokens. And then let me... Okay, so you're going to hit it with your melee weapon. Okay, so go ahead, give me a hit. Um, so you would just roll a d20. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, I dropped, I, I dropped my weapon on the ground. <laughs> oh my lord. All right, well... Okay. I tried. I tried to guess. <laughs> so, you are. You are. You have flat foot. <laughs> Let's just say Oh that. my god. No, you're fine. You don't. Nothing. Essentially, it's up to Andy now. So, Andy, game plan, girl. What are you going to do? Um. I think my character's better at ranged attacks, so. Hmm. Well, right now you have. Let me see what what's the range on your weapon? Because I think you'll have you have two. I think you have 30. your fifty. Thirty. Oh, thirty. That's not very good. So you could you would have to move a little bit ahead if you want to hit the goblin where Obazai is at, and you would have to move into line of sight uh, with the goblin that's up to the north. Um, Keskadai and Quig are kind of blocking your way, so you would have to move All past right. them. I just go up and around. Can I go like here? Uh, you have to drop it. Could you use my? Uh, yes, you can go there. And I guess I'm gonna try out my tactical baton. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's roll that hit. Ooh. Anything to hit? It would be it would be listed on your character sheet if you have it. Um, let me load real quick and see. Uh, you are Isif, right? I, I'm operative. Yeah, let's see. So you you have a hit attack bonus uh, with your range pistol. Which is the plus four uh, total attack. Okay, so I would add that to it, right? Right. I hit. So it would be one d twenty plus four. Wait. If you're gonna shoot with the pistol. If you shoot with the pistol, not the baton. Right. If you hit with the baton, then it's just a straight d twenty. 
wish I had a bigger table right now. Uh, <laughs> so you swing and it just slides right off the uh, the giant glass dome that he's wearing uh, but doesn't really do much to him. Oh my god. He just he kind of flips backwards and starts laughing and just you know flips one range back. Nailed it. <laughs> This isn't going well. Which <laughs> brings us up to Aura. Help us, please. Help us, please. <laughs> okay. Now, now, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here and help out Obzaya. <laughs> I feel like Eskadai and Quig can help out just fine. Okay. Uh, obviously, move. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You're you're well within your movement. And I want to go simple. I'm just gonna shoot it with my laser. Okay. So roll your your hit. Mm -hmm. Um, if you get any bonuses, just put the bonus in. Okay. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Woo. So roll your pistol's damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let me go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Pretty, pretty much the maximum I could have done with my pistol. <laughs> okay, so he is he's looking rather sickly. Uh, oh, that's good. You, know, you you popped him straight in the in his melon head, and uh, he starts venting gas through the bubble, and he starts freaking out. Just ah! But he's still well within his. Uh, he's still pretty cognitive. Um, let's go, Sham. Uh, okay. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Are you alright? I am with you. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. What you gonna do? Uh, I'm going to attack this one that's like directly in front of me with my ranged attack. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, for you, you have. Uh, I think actually you have the most versatility out of the group um, because you have. Um, you have both your your pistol. Um, you have your melee weapon, and then you have a spell that you could use all the time. Uh, so it's really up to whichever one you want to use. What spell do, do I use all the time? Uh, on the character sheet it says uh, you also know zero level spells. Uh, the only offensive one would be telekinetic projectile. Uh, so the enemy would need to be within 25 feet, which he clearly is. And the damage has no saving throw. So if you make it, uh, you just have to roll hit. You So you roll a d20 to hit. And if you hit, you roll a 1d6 damage. Outstanding. Oh my god. You guys need to buff your dice. So, no. you shoot. Are we, are we stormtroopers or what? <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Well, yeah. Yeah, everybody but you. <laughs> you shoot your telekinetic projectile. You're after focusing in on it. And your mind tools, you know, completely fail you. And the projectile just starts <laughs> bouncing all over the hallway. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Which brings us up to Quig. What's up? Oh wait, no, the goblins. My bad. Then Quig. All right. Wow, imagine being slower than a goblin. 
Yeah. Hey, I don't know, man. The goblins are pretty... Especially a dazed goblin. He got smacked. They're pretty sprighty. Very lightly. Um, he got tapped. Very, very lightly, yeah, but... Okay, so he he's going to move up and take a swing at Isif. Let's see. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, Isif. Um, I am unsure how to feel about this. <laughs> You're about to feel oh. injured. I don't feel feelings. Oof. All right, so you take <laughs> you take three points of damage. Oh my god. I edit that up here somewhere. Yeah, you you go to click your character. Uh, hit the green circle. It's gonna pop up a type box. Just put minus three, and it should automatically update your sheet. Um, yes. So. He's he swings at you with that that tactical baton that he had, and he kind of just whacks you on the back of your knee and just starts laughing. He goes, "Ha ha ha! A stupid robot!" Not my bad knee. <laughs> <laughs> so my my boy Quig, what are you doing, my man? All right, step aside, fools. <laughs> oh God. Help. Uh, better roll better than I did. Right. Help. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what faith in me, guys? So if I use my flamethrower from here, I can hit him, yes? Because it's a 15-yard radius. Yes, just keep okay. in mind that you will also hit Isif. Oh my god. Because <laughs> there is... Oh, I'm in front of him, <laughs> there is friendly fire. So, I'll, I'll uh, move right in front of him. Okay, so right there, you will not hit Isif. Alright, cool. Do that, and then I'm gonna roll a hit. So is each block like five feet or what? Right, each block is five feet of movement. Okay. And if you go one block diagonal, it's like ten because it's an extra five. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Okay, so you definitely hit. So go ahead, roll your flamethrower's damage. Imagine, imagine missing with the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> is that even possible? I mean, sure. I'm sure they could jump out of the way. That's actually a good question. Can my goblins jump out of the way? Let's see. Don't give them ideas. Where is he, Quig? Seven. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Got him. We um, eating good tonight, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, Moon, Moon you, don't, goblin. you don't roll... The plus three. So the total attack, you add that to your hit chance, not your weapon. So it, you got 18. You got a 21 to hit. You see the total attack number? Yeah, it, beside my flamethrower. Right, right, it's added to your hit chance. It's not your weapon damage. So every okay. do you see how you have your so you would take a penalty or not get a bonus if you use your tactical baton because it has a zero total attack. Um, but if so you I'll use your flamethrower, right, right? So, so every to, add to, to your point. hit, right to uh -huh. your hit. So every time you roll a hit, you always do that. Uh, okay. That's how um. this game distinguishes, um, like you being adept in a certain weapon. So if you're really good with that weapon, it gives you a bonus to the hit chance. So you always hit. Um, so do you do you want me to re roll the d the d six? Just I'll just I'll book. give you the four like that. You get the benefit unless you want to re roll. If you get higher than a four, I'll let you keep it. So just re roll the the six, and see what you get. Okay, there you go. So you got a five. All right. So you you pull out that flamethrower, you know. Goblin looks at it and goes, what the hell? <laughs> it just gets bathed in fire. Um, the suit keeps him protected a little bit, uh, but it's not enough. The The flame is just too strong and, and too hot. Uh, so he just he goes ahead and he moves back one. 
Uh, so that is the end of the round. We go back to Obazaya. So we can't see their health or like armor class or anything, right? You could see it if you have a scanner. If you roll a oh, okay. No, no. If you have the scanning tool in your equipment, some of you can. Uh, I don't know if any of you have it. I know that uh, some of you guys actually do have specialized equipment. I know some of you even have like the ability to make campfires and stuff like that. Uh, so you might want to check your equipment tab. Uh, which should be the letter J in your character sheet. Okay. Oh, I'll pretty much list everything. Alright. Well, I'm going to take a swing at this dude again. <laughs> and hopefully do better than the first time. Okay, make sure if you are swinging with your melee, if you have a bonus to the, the melee, yeah. roll the, the melee bonus. Which oh I... yeah, I do. Well, I wouldn't have hit him last time anyway. <laughs> now with a one. So. Yeah. Okay, I will add it this time. I have four total attack. Oh yeah, I didn't... Well, the other goblin didn't attack, but it's fine. Oh, do we need to do him? Uh, I, can, I can wait. Hold on, let me see real quick. Yeah, so he's he's definitely going to miss on everybody. So go ahead. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'm gonna roll with my dash code. Total attack plus four. Yeah! Oh my god! Okay. okay. So my damage on my dash code is 1d10 plus three kinetic. Oh my god, get absolutely obliterated. <laughs> so go ahead and describe your kill. Oh my god. Uh, I swing and literally chop this dude right in half at the torso. <laughs> he is in two pieces now on the ground. Uh, all you hear is... Ah! <laughs> it just fucking tilts over and <laughs> dies. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, top of the round. Andy, you're up, girl. Um, then try to hit him with my baton again. Okay. Um, so go ahead and roll. Now I roll my five to hit, right? Your okay. So with the baton, let me look it up here. You don't have a plus to hit with the baton. You have a plus to hit with your pistol. You have a plus four. Okay. So you you roll. Um, if you're going to shoot him with your pistol, you roll the d20 plus four. If you're going to hit him with the baton, you just roll a straight d20. What if I rolled a pistol with him? Yeah. You should, should get a bonus if she's shooting point blank. Yeah, you yeah. could shoot at any point 30 feet and under. So you can shoot. Obviously, you're not going to miss if he's right in front of your face. I mean, you you don't have a range issue at that point. I mean, you also get plus one because of my coordinated shot bonus. Right, because uh, Raya is next to to Obazaya. so you get uh, you get a plus. You would if you roll your pistol, you would roll plus five, so it would be one d twenty plus five. Oh wait, maybe my coordinated shot doesn't work because I killed it. Well, no, it's still as long as you hit. Coordinate shot oh, works as long as you hit. Okay, so... Oh my god. Um... You know, you pull out your pistol, you take aim, and you shoot, and it just, it just dings right off of his dome. <laughs> just nothing, nothing happens to him. Okay. She's like, that's fine. That is, that hurts my soul because I was actually counting on that. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's up to it's up to Aura now. 
I don't even think she can make it to you guys. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I can. I have a 50. My speed 50. is 50. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right, because she's, she's a and technomancer. Yeah. Fleet, so as long as I'm wearing light armor, I have an extra 10. 5, 10, I'm gonna do... 20, 25, 30. So 30 gets you here. Yep, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go there, and then I'm gonna pistol the shit out of them. Okay, so roll. I, I don't think you get a bonus to it, though. No, well, no, for my pistol, it's plus 2 on hit. Huh? I'm gonna see it. No, that's not what I wanted to roll. That's not, that's not my roll. Okay. Oh my god. Where's... That's not it anyway. Not <laughs> let me see your let me see your sheet. With my pistol. Yeah, that's crazy. You get a plus two. That's so weird. Well, three plus two is uh <laughs> not great. To fourteen. Okay. Uh so roll your damage. Hey. Oof. Okay, describe your kill. Hey. Well, he's already been burnt, shot at, smacked around a little bit. He's been very traumatized. I'm gonna assume his helmet is is demolished. Oh, his his helmet already already had duct tape on it from all the cracks and everything, so his his helmet had seen better days. Yeah, so he just gets it straight to the noggin. <laughs> like, in one ear, out the other. Oof. Okay. Well, let's not get savage here whatsoever. Okay, so that that kills both goblins. Hooray! Uh, what, uh, what do you guys want to do? Well, I'm over here in the corner, so uh, I think I will go rejoin the group. Okay, so it looks like we're going north. Yeah. Okay, so let's pan up. Um, now, do you guys want... Uh, uh, is there a formation order that you guys want to move ahead in? Does it matter? You guys don't care? I vote the burly chick goes first. I'm trying to stay in front so I can smack stuff and everybody gets range bonuses. I mean, I have... If we need it, I have light. You have lights? I have a lot of fucking light. I have a flashlight as well in my inventory. I have more than just the flashlight. I have we night vision. Black and white man. I have a flashlight, dude. <laughs> I want to blind someone, I got you. Can I use my, like, healing serum on the, the person? Uh, yeah, on you're, you're on use or your spell? Equipment. Okay, yes, the, the healing serums, um, some of you are carrying healing serums. You can use it at any point. You can even use it in combat, but you use a movement and an attack. Because it considers that you to be in melee range of the person you're administering it to. And the use uh, in order to have them drink it. Uh, but you can use it out of combat at any point. So if you want to use the healing mm -hmm. serum, uh, go ahead and give it to whoever you want. No one that's hurt. I don't know. That's, uh, that's Andy at 9 out of 12. Uh, you sure want to, I want to save that thing. It's it's plus eight health that it restores, so maybe. Me. Would it be better if I just use a spell? I think is it a spell that you can use whenever, however many times. I don't know. I'm still looking at this thing. <laughs> Listen, Sham's just trying to be a hero, okay? I gave up on that hero life. Now I just want to shoot shit. Last character was shield you and shield you and buff you. Mm. Oh, she has a lot of stuff that she can use to heal. So she, so Sham has two healing serums. She's got a med kit and a med patch. Yeah. Jeez. And a spell or something. Yeah. 68. Um, 
but I don't really know what any of them do. So, <laughs> so I, I'm gonna actually read them to you right now. Okay, so the uh, healing serum will restore one d8 hit points. The um, the patch. The med patch is more of a medicine skill check. It's used to, you know, prevent diseases and stuff like that. And then you also have something okay. else. Uh, what's med kit? You have a med kit? Okay, so let's see. Okay, so the the med kit just gives you the the tools you need to use the med patch and stuff like that. All right, let's just use my mystic ear spell thingy. Okay. Um Cuz so I can do that three times per day, right? You can use right. So you can use it three times per day. Uh, you could use Mystic Cure, uh, Mind Thrust, or Lesser Remove Condition. All the other, the rest of them, you can use as many times as you want. And for Mystic Cure, it would be 1d8 plus 4. There, you're overhealed like a bit. Okay, so, so it was, yeah, you you get, you have full health, so you could just put plus, plus three on the circle, and it'll bring you back up to 12, 12. All right. So you guys Mr. are... Mr. Cure, it doesn't apply this time, but it also says if I overheal, I can apply the extra to myself. Yes, yes, because it's the, it's kind of like a really weird chain heal, sort of. I mean, that's the best way I could describe it. Um, that's pretty good. So you guys are, are still in the corridor. I guess you guys are just cross-healing each other now. <laughs> um, where are you guys uh, headed? That way. Head that Mark. way. Okay, so this is what you see ahead of you. Ahead, guys. Woo. Okay. What the? Um. What the world's going on here? It's the Kool Aid Factory. Come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. You, you're entering a room um, it's full of conduits and pipes and hoses and tubes uh, dangling from the ceiling from the walls draped on the floor uh, some of them are leaking some of them are not leaking others are making noises um, you know the the pools are kind of collecting on the floor creating different colors and it's it, bunch of glass vials and stuff laying around uh, there's a table on the corner uh, with a bunch of more vials and, and a hologram that's flickering on and off it's kind of just fallen into disrepair um, now as you're looking around uh, the the hologram flickers it it sees you guys and it says uh, welcome to Arija's exciting elixirs Come in, have a drink, and experience the magical blessings of Iloridu. I want to detect magic. 
I'm skeptical. Okay, so, uh, I'm detecting. give me, give me a, give me a check. You, a check, a check are you, you're rolling wisdom? It, no, it just says, my oh, you're casting your detect magic. My detect magic, I can do it as many times as I like. Okay, so you, there is nothing of magical value anywhere in this room. So it's science bullshit. <laughs> I roll science on it. I roll science. <laughs> <laughs> Could make a bomb. <laughs> Did I cross uh, over this? So, well, well yes, no, yes. Yeah. Okay, so the they're just it. It's not like a flood of liquids. You're not no. gonna <laughs> like. Yeah, you're not gonna fall to your death or anything like that. You can walk <laughs> across. It's just puddles. Um, you know, for for the detect magic, there it, there's really is no magic anything in this room other than it's just the faint glowing from the pools um what is it you're trying to to roll a science check on it andy yeah okay um so give me give me a science please uh i'll you can use life science i don't know if you have life science let me see i have science you just have fl flat science seven Okay, so yeah, go ahead. 3d20 plus 7? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's it's pretty obvious from... I nailed it. From what you guys see, that this this was some sort of liquid factory... Um, what the liquids actually do, um, you're not too sure of, but the, the hologram motions you over to the table and it just tells you, drink, drink the blessings. Go ahead, Quig, drink. <laughs> Who has good perception? Does somebody look at the table? Is it because uh, he's a rat and you want him to drink? He's a subject. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Ooh. I'm not drinking it. I'm not drinking it. Um, I'm not drinking fine. the Kool-Aid. Uh, oh, wait. Can, can I roll science? Because I'm really good at science. I mean, you you could roll anything you want as far as to but what are you trying to do you're trying to to i'm trying to determine whether or not these things are like safe or if they look like they mixed. the table or the liquids the liquid okay that's fine so raw science check on the liquid it's how the fuck it's a 10 plus 10 yeah right so you would roll whatever plus 10 damn you have a lot of science yeah it's because i'm a student Whoa. So you have a lot of debt? <laughs> I, I mean, I would assume so. I only have 36 credits to my name. <laughs> yeah. That's not your, those aren't your credits. <laughs> those aren't mine. <laughs> That's the financial aid kicking in. <laughs> yeah, right? So sh yeah, it'll be 1d20 plus whatever the bonus, which will be 10 in your case. Dang. Okay. 17. So... What you determine from these fluids is uh, they have some very interesting effects. Uh, some some could be wondrous, others could be terrible. No. no. That's it? That hmm. is it. I pick hmm. up a couple. Um. Okay. Don't you dare chug those. Um, so how, you want to pick up two? I'll pick up two. Okay, so which, which color? You um, have, you have red, green, and blue. Blue and red. 
Okay, so roll 1d10. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. Are you going to to drink the fluid? No, I'm just putting it in my bag. Okay, no, then that's fine. Okay, so you have a red and a blue. So you have two. Um, anybody else? Can I roll science on the green one to see if I can determine what it is? Yes. All right. So you said that's a D20, right? <laughs> yes. I feel like you're laughing at me. Oh, no, no. I'm laughing because obviously I know what's going on. You can on. make a science experiment. I think what's fucked up is Aura was like, yo, make the rat eat it. What <laughs> the fuck? Lord of 24th, right? Okay, so these liquids um, have random effects. Uh, they could either completely empower the person or hinder them. It is uh, all based on luck and, and when you ingest it. Uh, you won't know the actual attributes until you actually ingest the fluid. I want to taste uh, the blue so, one. I feel like we so, should mix it. <laughs> well, even if I roll signs on the drink, I still can't tell like what exactly it does. Yeah, until yeah, it's, it was... it, it's only... It's a random... It... it the effect is random based off of when you consume it because you got to remember that every person's biology is different. Um, you mm. know what? My robot finger in it. <laughs> I want to drink the blue one. Le let, let, all die before we let, let, let the bug drink the fucking juice on the floor. Okay, so go ahead, Sham, and give me a, a d20 roll. Or a d10, I'm sorry, a d10. I rolled a 10 with a 20 head the second. <laughs> Holy Jesus, okay. So, Do you want me to roll a d10? Uh, no, 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 no. You, you, go ahead and roll a d10. Because you rolled a d20, you bastard. I uh, did it before you said anything. Okay, so... Um, you go ahead, you drink the blue liquid, your mandibles get all excited, you start glowing blue. Um... But you notice that you, you're feeling a little weird. Um, you take a minus one penalty to your armor class um, during Shit. the next combat. Did, did Andy put the blue one in her back? She took red and blue. But remember, yeah. the effects are random to whoever drinks it. Oh, so there's multiple ones on the table. It's not just one Right, it, it, one. Doesn't, it doesn't... The, the actual color of the liquid doesn't matter because the effect changes on the person who who drinks up. I want to try the green one. <laughs> Why is everybody drinking the Kool-Aid? <laughs> <laughs> Can we please move okay. on? You guys are all going to die before we ever make it out of here. Okay. I get buffs? So, so Aura, go oh, ahead God. and roll 1d10. 1d10. I want buffs. <laughs> this is how I end up taking for a party of completely mangled people. <laughs> oh my god, you rolled a two. You're gonna okay. fall into the thing and drown. So you... It, it hit like the middle of my screen and then bounced. You start glowing blue. You, you feel... I, I the green. Why am I going blue? You feel almost as high as Sham is. But you have a minus to armor penalty in the next the combat fuck? session. This isn't working too well. I wanted buff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I'm at 11 now? Bitch, how do I fix that? Like, it's wait. just one combat session. After combat, it goes away. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stumble over here and stand by my high ass buddy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I'm next to the rat that should have drank the liquid and the bug <laughs> that actually drank the liquid. I'm feeling really good. I'm never gonna get my thousand credits like this. <laughs> okay. okay. So Sham drank the blue one, right? Yes. What did that one do for her exactly? It made her glow blue. Oh, Sham, go ahead and and put minus one to your AC. The blue one. The blue bar. Why did you put minus two? 
Because you said minus two. two. It's a minus one, I'm sorry. Bro. Okay, so there you go. You have minus one, minus one. Um, so, shame glowed blue when she drank hers, and aura glowed blue when she drank hers. We're not drank green one, though, right? Right. Yeah, but aura drinks green. Right. I'm glowing blue anyway. Right, she's okay. glowing blue anyway. Remember, the effects have nothing to do with the drink that you're drinking. What was right. the negative effect? What was aura's negative? Both sham it. and aura lost one AC. Okay. Can I try the red one now? Can I try oh, the no. red one? Oh no. <laughs> well, hold on. Let let Moon... Moon, what are you going to do? Um, the red one. Please. Can we keep going? <laughs> uh, I, I want to try the red one. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, so go ahead yeah. and roll one d10. D10. <laughs> I love I this. Know. I love this so much. Ooh. Okay. See, he's gonna get buffs. <laughs> so. <laughs> no. you, yeah, that's like, worked so well so far. You glow red, and you gain a plus one bonus to all saving throws during the next combat session. Lit. Okay, so let me and Keskadai go first. We're glowing blue. We can illuminate the path. Okay, so there's only two two people that haven't drank. Don't, don't it's, drink. It's it's Kevin. I ain't drinking it. It's Kevin and Isaf. Which yeah, is, let the walking glow sticks go first. <laughs> so Andy and okay, so Kevin's not gonna drink. Andy, nope. are you gonna drink? Um, I'm just gonna grab one of each and take them. Okay. I want to sample the green one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go this ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and roll one d10. This is just roaming the store grabbing a sample. <laughs> Nothing happened. Taking my crap for the road, my guy. Nothing happened, Sham. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Poor it just Sham. it just tasted like dirty water, but you're used to it with your bugness. Cool. I like it. Not bad. Okay, so you guys are, are going to move past the room, yes? Yep. Wait. Um, so that red thing, is that like a, a wheel something? It looks like you open? I feel like we didn't really check out the room other than the... No, 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 no. That's just the pipe. It's leaking the oh, okay. liquid. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, so don't... I'm going to have to take a break and lock the puppy here in just a minute. So. Yeah. Okay. Don't uh, don't move your characters, please. Oh. You can tell us not to move and make it look so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, two of you are are on cloud nine right now, so um, you might enjoy this room a little bit better. <laughs> I'm night and I'm going dirt, 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 dirt. I'm just. Okay, so champ, do you want to just take a break now? If now is a good time. Yeah, I mean whatever whatever works for you. Just don't mm -hmm. don't move your characters yet, guys. Don't move your characters yet. Move them back. And then just let Sham take her break. We'll take a 10. All right. I'll try and be back fast. All right.